This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com. Be sure to visit WeGotSoccer for everyday low prices on all the latest soccer gear. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing video of a pair of ASICS Lethal Flash DS. This is one of the cheaper models in the ASICS line. And uh, like you see me talk about before, the off-brands generally offer better shoe for a lesser price. And that's definitely the case here with ASICS. The quality on these is no different than the high-end models. Uh, you're paying less of a price simply because this is the synthetic leather model as opposed to the natural kangaroo leather model. Um, but I can tell you that the synthetic leather on, that ASICS is using is really, really good quality. Uh, it's not the thin, zero padding synthetic leather either. This is like synthetic leather that if you didn't tell me if it was synthetic, I would probably guess it was leather. It's a really, really nice synthetic. Obviously, this one has this crazy kind of camouflage looking pattern on it. It's just a coating over top. The other colorways, which I'll be showing in a couple weeks or so, uh, or within the same week, sorry, well, don't have the same coating, so it actually does have the appearance and feel of leather, uh, but this green and yellow colorway, which is absolutely crazy, by the way, so if you're one of those people that likes to stand out on the field, this is going to be one of those shoes for you, uh, probably one of the brightest shoes I've ever seen in person. Again, if you want to check out how this actually does look uh, in person, go ahead and check those online photos on my website, the High Quality Pictures. Uh, there will be a link in the description right to the review page so you can check those out because these are some spacey looking shoes, especially in person. The online photos don't do it justice as to how bright it actually is. But again, the synthetic leather upper is really fantastic and the fit is really good as well, especially for a shoe that's under $100. Really fantastic. Comes in a couple of different colors. Again, if you want to check out the other A6 shoes I've already unboxed, go ahead and check that. Uh, the annotation is on the left side of the screen, or just go to the website, soccerviewsforyou.com, and you'll find them all on the front page of the website. Um, but the fit is, again, like I said, fantastic. You have these, the synthetic and mesh tongue central lacing system. The shape on this shoe is really good. I complain about the shape when it comes to synthetics a lot, but that I've tried this on, the, the shape is really good. Fits just like a leather shoe would and feels like a leather shoe when it's on your foot, which is definitely nice to see. You of course get the HG 10 millimeters, which stands for the heel gradient. If you've seen me explain it before, uh, this is nothing new, but if you're new to new to the ASICS, video, ASICS shoes here, they, most of them feature this heel gradient, which means that there's a 10 millimeter lift in the heel, so that the heel is 10 millimeters higher than the toe. So like a running shoe, you're, you're angled ever so slightly on your toes, um, shifting your weight forward, and the, the, the logic here is that Soccer is a running sport, and a lot of the injuries are ca caused by overuse. Uh, so transferring your weight forward puts your body in a better, uh, a better position uh, anatomically to really reduce the amount of stress on your lower joints. So your hips, your knees, and your ankles will have a lot less stress on them simply because you won't have all of your weight pressing down on them at all times. With you also get with this HG 10 millimeter is the uh, midsole and heel sole. So you have this EVA foam, which is this little yellow strip you have here, which runs through, and again, it's like a running shoe sole. So you actually have some extra cushion besides the insole. This is under the insole. You have the cushion of the EVA foam as well as the insole. So you're going to have, again, less uh, kind of pounding on your joints, and a little bit more cushion, which is something that's uh, really good thing to have, especially if you're looking at injury prevention, which is always a good thing. Keeping it in the game is always better than being lightweight or being flashy. Uh, if the shoe is actually functional, that's always important. Of course, you have the uh, this kind of unique Asics sole plate side patterns. All of them seem to be fairly unique as far as uh, in comparing them to other brands. There's really nothing like it. You have the five studs in the heel here. This is the exact same stud pattern and sole plate as the Asics Lethal Testimonial 2. So if you do want to check that out, there'll be an annotation to the left side of the screen as well. But you have these this mess of conical studs here at the front and then you have the three blades here at the front for basically pushing off where the conical studs do a better job of allowing you for plenty of uh, plenty of mobility but you have also so many studs that you're going to have a lot of stability because you have uh, more I guess more material under your feet rather than just standing on a couple of studs so it's going to work better on a multitude of surfaces especially if you're going to be on hard ground this is an ideal stud pattern to have again I'm really excited to use this shoe and the overall uh, 
the overall quality of it again is just fantastic asics is really making some great shoes and again like i would compare it if you've been watching me for a while i would compare the quality to something like a mizuno which again as you guys know i'm a really big fan of and i can tell you i'm a really big fan of the a6 shoes now but again guys uh stay tuned there's going to be more colorways of this shoes coming up in the next week or so so uh keep on the lookout for those any questions you guys have related to the video go ahead and leave that in a comment section in the comment section down below i'll try to get an answer to you guys uh any questions you have not related to the video, go ahead and check that out on my Facebook page. And if you haven't been on the Facebook page, go ahead and check that out too. Um, all kinds of stuff goes up there early, so if you want to get like a sneak peek of what's coming up in the next video or so, go ahead and check that out. Uh, all that kind of stuff happens on Facebook. If I find a really great deal on a pair of shoes, I generally post it there. So if you want to be in the loop for all that kind of stuff, go ahead and check that out. And again, as always guys, go check out the website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com. If you haven't been there already, uh, link's in the description of that as well. And as always guys, thanks for watching.